and I do believe we are live, folks. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing great. And it seems to me like I think we have the audio problems of last week are gone. So, hey, let me know if you guys can hear the audio okay. I know the video should be all right, but, yep, uh, we didn't change anything. I have no idea why, but when I tested it earlier tonight, audio was perfect. So, y'all just let me know there. And we'll give people a few minutes to check in. And man, what a busy week we had. So unless you folks are living under a uh, rock and you didn't know about this wonderful glitch that we told you guys about on Friday. Holy cow. Crystal clear, says Nerdy Mr. A. Awesome. So, <clears throat> man, what a wild ride. So Friday, we told you guys about this kit. And uh, thanks to Stan the Man, who uh, tipped us off to this, and also uh, Marauder. Oh, they both, like, within minutes of each other, sent us uh, the notice about this. But So this was the DCD-791 P1 kit. So this is a kit that is normally $199, and it comes with a 5-amp-hour battery and the brushless drill driver. It's not a hammer drill, just a regular drill driver, and a charger and a battery bag. Normally $199. So the way this glitch worked was you put that in your shopping cart and, and it drops down to 149 and then all of a sudden it's still got that buy one get one deal left over from uh, the Black Friday. So let me see if I got mine here. What I got? Uh, what did I get? Oh, hold on. Hold on. So I ordered this to go along with it, right? If you put this in the shopping cart the price doesn't go up or anything it still stays at 149 so <clears throat> now you got that kit that i just showed you let me see if i got it here so you got this kit for 149 and then you got this guy for free okay the whole bundle you have both of these for 149 dollars. you just scored two uh, four hundred dollars worth of tools for 149 dollars. and then when you looked in their shopping cart it showed that your price for this had dropped down to $68. So that was like the maximum refund value. So holy cow, was this incredible. <clears throat> so I actually bought two of those deals before I told you folks about it and then ran out to Home Depot and did that live stream out in the parking lot on Friday. And you know, people just started going crazy. Like numerous people were just chiming in saying, I just got mine, I just got mine. But then <clears throat> what happened with my deal was kind of strange. I had to go to the store to pick up the drill, and they said, we're going to mail you the jigsaw for $8. So I did that order twice, right? But then after picking up my drill at the store, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to wait for the jigsaw to arrive in the mail. Then I get this. See, that's a refund. It was a refund from Home Depot because they canceled my order there, you know. <laughs> so, and Len Van Vliet just checked in with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, that helps out, guys, because, you know, you saw how many tools I bought today. To do. That was a lot. Um, so, anyway, the bottom line was I still got half of my deal. I still got this half of the deal for 68 bucks. Actually, even less, because look at this. They refunded back $100. So I need to go back and check the math, but I think that that means that I ended up paying like basically $49 for this kit, you know. So I gave one to my buddy Gene Giandi today. Got him. That's the one we've been shopping for him for a month or so. <clears throat> and then um, just total strangeness going on here with that. Let me see what some of the folks are saying. So John Kirchdorfer says, I got the blower just now. For $87, they sold me the battery set for $113. They couldn't find it, so they still gave me the blower. Yeah, see? So a lot of people ended up getting one half of the equation here for a discounted price anyway. So it was a glitch and then an indirect glitch and then another glitch resulting from the glitch because some people couldn't uh, get fulfilled on their deal. So <clears throat> what we noticed yesterday and today is that you are so much better off just going to the store anyway and getting that deal yourself. Now, I went in today to this very store that canceled my order, right? I walked into that store this afternoon, and what did I see sitting on the counter? And they are in the, in the floor there, on the stock floor. It was this. 
They had one left. I'm like, you're kidding me. You canceled my order. So I think a lot of people were getting that because the employees couldn't find what they were looking for or they just, you know, didn't know what, what to look for, didn't know where to find it. A lot of them don't think to look up, up above, remember? You keep keep telling people to look up. In fact, when I went in today, <clears throat> I had the guys had to go up top to pull down four of these for me. That's where they were. They were sitting way up high. So that that was a interesting turn of events today. And then so since we I sold them out of that jigsaw, I then went and got uh, this one, which I'll be doing a tool review video on this week. They got the screw the screw driving the uh, what the yeah, drywall screw gun, <laughs> and uh, I got the sander and I got the grinder as well. So I got four different buy one get one deals that I did. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cannibalize probably a couple of these because I was really after the five amp hour batteries in there that come in this kit, right? Because where else can you get a five amp hour battery for 68 bucks when these are normally 149 and they're on sale right now for 99. So that was a great deal there. So <clears throat> let's see. George Duvall says, good evening, Jeff and fellow YouTubers. Well, hello there, George. And let's see. So I think uh, people are, I'll give people just a couple of more minutes to get here before we uh, start going through the winners. Oh, you have to take a shower, says KR Odyssey. So he wants to know when we're going to do the winners <clears throat> in just a minute. And then Captain Fantastic says, I got the drill and the jigsaw on Friday afternoon. See, that's that was the way to do it. Had my store had positive, correct information on the stock, I would have been able to pick that. I could have just gotten the whole thing done on Friday because I was down there, and I should have just gone inside and you know checked in by the tools there, but I didn't, and um, you know, that was it. The other thing is, <clears throat> today, we tried to use this on this buy one get one deal and i knew that it probably wasn't going to work but i was very surprised that over the weekend a fair number of you told me you were able to use this on your deal to drive it even lower and even military one guy stacked this with a military discount at one store so um i guess it depends on your region but most of the home depot stores i can tell you are programmed to not allow the use of any discount whatsoever Anytime you have a buy one, get one deal, just it just it shuts everything out. And then I think I see another. Let me see. Was there another super chat that came in? There's two of them there. I don't I don't see who the first one's from. There was I saw um, I saw the one from Len. Uh, maybe there's more. Oh, Robert, Robert Shadow just sent in five dollar super chat. Thank you so much for that, Robert. All right, so Ernie says, I got the router and the light. People were asking me left and right how I know about this. <laughs> I, I know a guy. Now, somebody told me today, um, they, they commented that they were talking to some area rep from Home Depot and that the guy told him that they watch my channel and I forget who else is, um, and, and they look for the glitches and try to shut them down. I don't know if, how much truth there is to that, but uh, that was pretty good, you know, anyway. And breaking news, starting tomorrow, the Buy More, Save More is starting up again at $120 off. Woo, three items, yep. So some people were debating with me that they didn't think this was a glitch that we that we were showing you guys all weekend. And I think that it is because we, we already know that it's, it's part of the Black Friday deal. And I'm pretty sure it ends today. It might, I, I thought I saw a couple of items a few months ago that said they ended in February 2nd or something, but I'm pretty sure, because the other DeWalt poster in there, remember that one with the uh, $3.99 deal for the Atomic Kit? That um, ended today. I took a picture of the poster in there today to show that it ended today. And Jared Hoover checked in with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much for that, Jared. And um, <clears throat> so let's see if the, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to get this deal tomorrow. You can try. I'm hoping that maybe it, there's something broken and that it c continues to stay broken because usually glitches like this are fixed within an hour. So I think what happened, it was like in that movie Perfect Storm where you got these two storms coming at each other and they collide. And I think that this, the fact that this dropped from 199 down to 149 could potentially be a Q1 deal or something that maybe somebody opened up the chute a little bit early, a couple of days early, 
And so it's overlapping with that Christmas deal with the buy one, get ones. And that's what I think drove everything so low. Now, we saw a deal like this back in early November. Remember when they first came out with, the, with this buy one, get one, this whole shebangy here? I think there was something with that atomic kit. And it was like, again, it was a leftover from the Labor Day deal that was colliding with the Black Friday deal. And so I think that's probably what happened there. And that was the same type of glitch. I myself missed. I couldn't. I went in there, was unable to get, get the glitch at all back then. But at least we got this one there. <clears throat> and then Darwin Montero just checked in with a four ninety nine super chat. Thank you so much for that. As did Angela Bettendorf and Sam Hernandez. Thank you so much, folks. That'll help offset the <laughs> 150 times, what, like five that we bought on these today? So hang on to that jigsaw. One solid tool. I've already got one. So, yeah, I'm, we're probably going to give away that other one. I was really hoping... They would have had two or three more. And, and especially the reason is because, you see, this jigsaw is $199, right? So to get this as your free tool, ooh, that is a score. Whereas my little old drywall screw gun here, this guy's only like $129 or $139. And so... You know, I always like to maximize, you know, that, that's why normally I'll tell people like, hey, what, you got the flashlight? What are you crazy? You know, because you get double. But if it's the tool that you really need, that's the one you get. So, yeah, I got this. I got another sander. We're going to give that away. So, yeah, you guys are going to be uh, scoring some of this stuff here, too. So hopefully if those of you didn't didn't make it, weren't able to, to score on this glitch, you got another chance and it's going to be free. How's that for a glitch, huh? To get it free. And, uh, yeah, not sure when we're going to do it. We still have to wait for the dust to settle on this and everything. Let me tell you guys some staggering numbers after I tell you about uh, Made in New York just sent us a $9.99 super chat. Thank you so much for that. And it is What is Cooking. I like that channel name. Gave us a $5 one, too. He says, I took advantage of that glitch for the blower. There you go. Uh, so what were we going to say? We were going to say something about, okay, this is staggering numbers, folks. This is probably a record for me. But when I was checking my Home Depot tracking links for Friday, an unbelievable 1,800 of you were able to take advantage of that deal using the link that we provided. 1,800 people confirmed got their order in now what i don't know is whether or not they're gonna how many got canceled or how many are gonna get canceled because the product simply wasn't available but those are staggering numbers and then for a lot of people it dried up the, the link stopped working on saturday so for saturday there was about approximately 450 or so people that were able to to get it so that's just oh, it's it's phenomenal and I really hope that, that, you know, that many of you didn't get canceled. And I was telling people numerous times today through the live streams, through our posts on the community page, to remember that just because you get a cancellation from them doesn't mean that it's not there. I'm living proof of that. You saw that, right? They canceled my order. They said, hey, Jigsaw's not in stock, Jeff. Sorry. Jeff said, I call, you know what? I call baloney on that one, man. I went in there and I found it. So this is why I've been telling people, like even since probably early last year, when we really started to notice discrepancies between all of the online inventory and what you actually find in store, don't ever believe what you see online or on the app. You know, I, I will still go to the store and check. I am very persistent. I'm not one of these people that sits there and whines, oh, they didn't have it. I couldn't get the deal. I go down there and I find it. It's there. To, I assume that it's there. Everybody else assumes, well, it's probably not there. I assume that it's there, and I get in my car, and I go down there, and I find it, and I get it. And, you know, the, the spoils of war go to the victor, really. So, Roby Film says, may God bless you and your family. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. And uh, let's see. Um, the Gitanov said, hi, from San Francisco Bay. I found a way to get 15% home discount. Yeah, the Home Depot discount. Just had to attend the Home Depot workshop, and they mailed me. I've heard about that, yeah. So if you go to one of those workshops, but I imagine they're online now. I don't know if they're still doing them in the store. 
that, yeah, I've heard that they will give you a 15% discount. And then keep in mind, too, some of these guys, when you go up to the register and, and you're doing this, this big deal, they won't accept coupons. But if you open up a Home Depot card, um, they'll give you, I think, I think 50 bucks max is the, the max they'll give you for that. So that's another way you can save even more money, too. All right, so let's go ahead and pick, uh, pick some of the winners here from the, the tool giveaway. And we're going, okay, so the first one is the, remember I told you we got the, the five lowest 10% off coupons here that we're giving away, and we're doing three winners, okay? So let me draw the three winners on this one. And let's see, hitting the draw button now, and it's going into the database, and it randomly chooses three winners. And here are our three winners for, you will get five of these Lowe's 10% off coupons. And one of them is Nelson Arroyo from Queens, New York. The other one is, and I hope I pronounced this right, Zavi Daulat from California, and Jerry Insall from Texas. So congratulations to the three of you. Now, what I want to show you here, and, and this will hopefully help some of you guys in the future drawings that we do, I want to review some invalid ones. So, so it's telling me here there was actually three different people that got invalid on their, on their, you know, when they applied here. So what makes it invalid? So let's look at this first one here. And... This one, it says Harry, and he gave his, you know, he, his his email address there. I don't know if it's Harry, Timey, Timmy, uh, but it said email bounced. And I thought that was kind of weird because it looks like a regular email account to me. But, you know, sometimes people fat finger it. So make sure that your uh, email address was entered correctly when you do these. Um, here was another one from James LaFleur. And what was his... He shared it to the same, uh, he, he basically shared it to himself. So he said, James LaFour, uh, refer friends for extra entries, but he referred himself. And, it, and you're basically trying to send, send it to yourself. And then from your same IP address on your same computer, you're going in and redoing another entry. So apparently, you know, the software is very smart. These people that, that I pay massive amounts of money to at Gleam, they know their stuff and they know when things are kind of, you know, iffy. So you want to try to avoid stuff like that. If you're a husband trying to share it to your wife and it lands in the same house, I wouldn't do that. I would just recommend that you enter and your wife enters. That's the best way to do it. And the other one was, yeah, Marvin Huddleston. So I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to just call you guys out and embarrass you or whatever. I'm just trying to say, look, uh, don't do this next time because, you know, you you had a chance to win these. And you. I would imagine that whatever tool, if you entered all 12 tools here, you probably got got booted out of, of all of them. Um, so that was the same thing. He tried to, um, it looks like his wife, I guess. and But it was at the same IP address. So when they say share it with a friend or refer a friend, it really means a friend. Who is your friend? Your friend is somebody that's not living in your house and doesn't have the same IP address as you. So the, anyway, those are the three winners. What we're going to do is we'll post all of the winners as we get them and contact them tonight. I'll be posting them in the video description of this live stream video once it uploads. And you'll see it grow over the next day as we add the, <clears throat> the winners there. All right, so let me go back here. And Rob Bradley says, this is going smoother than last night's drawing on the other channel. Oh, you mean on, um, which one were we on last night? Oh, Mastering Mayhem. Yeah, yeah, he did a good one, too. And Joshua Jones, my old buddy, my old work buddy's here. What up, dude? Let me see if anything else came in. Okay. Stan the Man says, it was my pleasure to help everybody out to get that DeWalt deal as we receive that. Jeff has a trunk of black and yellow. It was, man. The trunk runneth over on that one. All right, let's go do <clears throat> any good deal on a hedger. Oh, somebody said that there was something. Um, there was one of the DeWalt hedgers that was being clearanced, I think, but it wasn't at our store. I didn't see it there. Or there was some kind of a deal on it. And, and it might have been a... Um, Flexvolt one, too. I don't know. <clears throat> I am happy with the DeWalt Hedger that I have now that I got a year and a half ago, though. 
And Sam says, thank you, Jeff, for everything you do for us, and God bless you. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here. All right, let's go pick the next winner of the next tool. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. It's got to be here. Okay, so the next one is that AWP Trap Jaw Leather Pouch. And I think we only have one. Do I even have it sitting here? I don't think it's here. Oh, wait. Yep. I think it's this one. And it was marked down at 24 but you guys know I didn't even pay 24 I think it was like 6 or $7 at Lowe's there for that clearance. So let's pick the winner there. And, oh, there were two. That's right. There's two winners for this one. So the other one's floating around here somewhere. So let's go draw those two lucky winners. I should hold it up here while, I, while it's... I need to hire some model to come in and, and do this. Okay, so the two winners are William Wiseman from Missouri and Roberto from Apopka, Florida. That's in my state. Hey, how about that? Roberto. Way to go. Congratulations on those guys. Let's go pick another tool and pick some winners there. So the next one is that, oh yeah, the bucket organizer. This was a nice one. <clears throat> I like this one, I like this. So these fit around your five gallon buckets here, see? And you just stick your tools in them. And wow, there was 2,233 uh, 2, entries for this one. And let's do the winners and let's see. And the winners are, well, actually one winner. The one lucky winner of this one. Sometimes it takes it a while to go in there and grab that person. <clears throat> so we got Jesse Gardner from Wisconsin. You gotta pronounce it right. It's Wisconsin. Jesse Gardner, congratulations on winning that. And there was a, let's see. Uh, well, there was one disqualified entry, and that was one of the same people that I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> so it looks like they kind of did it on on several of them. So, yeah, just make sure if you have a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, and if you're in the same house, don't try the refer it feature. Just have them go and, and uh, do it themselves. And I realize you might lose an, a thing. And I guess they need to come up with a smarter way to be able to discern that, but I guess they, they don't. They just view it as somebody's gaming the system there. So let's see if any other questions came in there. <clears throat> uh, let's see. John Kirkendorfer says, Jeff, you got to give me your hairstylist. I need more gel. Oh, man, my hair is just so out of control today. I got like, what do they call that? Like bedhead or something like that? Yeah. I've just been running around like crazy all day. All right, so, and we have Deer for you. says, hello, Jeff, from Chico, California. Good deal. Let's see what else we got. Next tool. Come on. Okay, so the next one is that tan leather tool pouch. This one is a nice one. <clears throat> This is the one that reminds me of the, the baseball glove. It's just beautiful leather. And I paid, I'm sure, way less than 17 for this one. All right, so this one, uh, let's go find our winner. The lucky winner. Okay, draw the winners. And let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. The lucky winner is Kathleen Haberstroh from Oregon. So congratulations, Kathleen, on winning this one here. Let me see if it shows how many. Yeah, there was 1,637 entries for this one. And let's see if we have any other questions that came in. Ernie Mr. A says, Jeff, love your other channel too. Need a day off to binge some vids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's talking about our carbuyingtips.com channel. Yeah, we do a lot of... Uh, um, I'm actually working on a video because you folks know we just bought a Lexus GX 
460 uh, for my wife. I used one, a 2019, a couple of weeks ago. So I'm actually in the middle tonight of, of, of doing some of the video for that. So we're going to put a video up on the other channel on, you know, some really good tactics to use when you're shopping for a used car. So anyway, and then we just completed. If you haven't seen our other channel, you got to go check it out, that carbuyingtips.com. I'll put a link down in our video description below for it. But we uploaded a really good video that we did a couple of weeks ago where we compared that brand new, uh, that turtle wax, graphene wax. I don't know if you guys have heard about this stuff. It's, it's like $30 a bottle, but it's got this graphene, which is the strongest stuff known to mankind. And they say it's 200 times stronger than metal and that it puts like this mesh of protection over your your car and that it's got uv protection and they say that it'll last more than a year you know most waxes might your better waxes might last three months or so so yeah we we did a test where we ran it up against the mcguire's ultimate wax which i think is well, it was my you know my other go-to wax so yeah that was some pretty cool stuff make sure you check that out and Marauder says at least the tool pouch doesn't weigh much. Yeah, right? You'd have to go to Oregon with that one. So thanks. Yeah, Marauder was the other one that told us about the, the, the glitch as well. And Josh Jones says, what happened to the Beast? You mean the old SUV? We traded it in at the... Um, we actually found it at an Audi dealer. Audi of Fort Lauderdale, of all places. And... I was working on a remodeling job down not too far from there, and I and I got into my mind at lunchtime. I said, I am going there today. I am driving out of there with that Lexus that I see on their website, and I'm giving them my old truck. I am not driving home tonight with that old truck. And sure enough, boom. That was awesome. So Mike Shelton says, just received HD email saying the impact wrench I chose with the hack has shipped. Oh, <laughs> That's a good one. I always see now I get nervous when I see emails coming from Home Depot because it's like, uh oh, what did they cancel this time? But man, um, yeah, luckily I just ordered a, a sink basin for the bathroom of the, the house that we're remodeling right now. And it came in by Home Depot yesterday. So that was good. It came in this massive box for just all it is is just the, the ceramic basin. But it's a smaller one. They don't sell it in the stores. It's a smaller one made for a smaller vanity cabinet because everything in that house is tiny. It's like a dollhouse. So, all right, let's go find the next tool. Let's see what we're giving away this time. There's the other polyester pouch. I think there was a couple of these. Yeah, let me see if I got this sitting here or not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, maybe I do. I think it's this guy. And there was 1,603 total entries on this one. And I think there's two winners. No, th there's three winners for this one. So let's draw those lucky three winners there. And let's see what we got. Draw away, my friend. Pick those winners. You can pick your winners, but you can't pick your nose. Okay, so the first one is Cody Heaton from Michigan. Congratulations, Cody. The other one is Charles Perry from USA. Doesn't say we're in the USA, but he's from the USA. And I'll have to get back to you on that. We're going to confirm that. Okay, and then Tyler Ginter from Kentucky. So congratulations to the three of you folks for uh, winning those there. And VSP900 says, I need some 18-volt Milwaukee tool to get into the line. The one we're giving away, I think, is we're doing something with an M12. I do want to pick up some more M18s. Uh, to give away i like the m18 tools some of the m12s i'm starting to get a little you know i'm kind of upset with that platform because some of the tools are really hard to get that battery to pull out of because you have to like pinch the little tabs it's i don't know the design could be better and it certainly wasn't designed by an engineer that that actually has to use it you know they're impossible to get out of the rocket lights i don't know if, if any of you owns the m12 rocket light let me know if you're having problems too getting the battery out and then also on the the new um the new hatchet that little six inch chainsaw that they came out with in september um i can't get the battery out of that thing either too i have to really struggle to get that thing out of there and josh says you should have cut around the drawer instead of removing it um no what we're probably going to do i don't know what we're going to do it's still in there we haven't removed it yet so not sure what we're going to do with it. We might just make it a shorter drawer or, I don't know. We're going to leave the, the door on there at the very least. 
All right. Discernment file says, I told you why I left M12. Okay, so, and Angela Carlson says, M12 batteries are a pain in the butt. Yeah, so I'm not the only one seeing this there. And Revelation F says, been building cabinets with the M18 fuel for a couple of months. Love it. Okay, there you go. And Just for Fun Family says, how about Tampa Bucks, Florida Super Bowl? Yeah, so the people that, that keep saying Tom Brady's not all that great, that he's not the greatest of all time, each year <laughs> that he gets into the Super Bowl, <laughs> he just, like, extends himself into goat <laughs> for lack of a better word. So, man, and then Hutch says, me too, I just got my hatchet and struggled with the battery. Yeah, so um, I'll probably, I'm, I think I've got all of the, the M12 tools that I really need, you know. I mean, after this, it's just going to be, I, you know, I might get, um, I might look into getting the, the little M12 Surge, that t that tiny. I, I got to see if he's small enough and and super compact. Because sometimes even my Dewalt 887, which is a nice compact drill, sometimes the length of it when you're getting in these really tight spaces, you still want something a little bit shorter to help you out, you know. And Max Ronda Rosenberg says check Shippo. They have great shipping rates. Yeah, I'll find out. But man, I can't I can't beat those eBay rates when I do my eBay hack when I ship you guys these these tools. So when we get to the bigger tools, and I'm gonna ask, and hopefully you folks will cooperate too, like on the on the really big ones because they've really jacked up the shipping rates on us. So what I do, and what's worked out really well so far on on the previous uh, tool giveaways, is I do what I call my eBay shipping hack. So I create a 99 cent listing on eBay, and you just go in there and buy it. And then once you have it, I now have your address and everything to ship it to is just automatic. I don't have to, like, type anything out. It's just automatic. But we get, like, 50% off in some cases on some of the, the, the shipping fees. So it's an enormous saving. So some of these items that would cost, these heavier items, would cost me $60 to ship it across the country to you, like to Oregon or, <clears throat> you know, California or Washington. But to get it at that discounted rate, that really helps out quite a bit there. And Rhonda Rosenberg says those rates are the same as eBay. Yeah, all right, so i got to check that out, too. All right, let's go find the next tool here. Let's see what we got. So we did that. We have the amp maintainer. Do I have that blue box here? Yeah, we do. <clears throat> i got to see if we have one or two of these. I forget. So there was 2,285 200, 2, entries into this one. And let's go pick our winners. Yep, we got two winners in this one. So this is the tool, the battery maintainer. Draw those names. Let's see what we come up with. All right, we got them. We got the names. We have Benjamin Molina from Pennsylvania. And we have Timothy Daly from, I think it's Missouri, M-O. I always forget not Montana. What would Montana be? MN? Yeah. So we have Benjamin Molina and Timothy Daly. Congratulations to both of you on winning that. And let's go right down the line of the next one. <clears throat> the battery starter kit. Oh, yes. What a great story behind this one. If I could find it. Oh, there it is. So these were the ones that were, <clears throat> and I'm not sure, they might have been more than 99 originally, I don't know. All I know is it says here, was 99. And when I bought it in the store, I picked it up on the shelf, it said $70 here, right? You can see it, boom. But when I got it up to the register, it rang up as $50. So that's what sometimes happens with these yellow sticker items, which is, I love, I live for those days, right? So it, it rang up at $50, and then I used one of my Lowe's 10% off coupons on it, and it, and it ended up being 45 bucks. <laughs> so what a sweet deal this was. So uh, 2,700 of you, 2,797 entries for this one. So let's pick that winner. One lucky dude on this one. This one's going to be a pleasure to mail out. I, I loved scoring this one. Okay, the winner is Kevin Bell from Indiana. Kevin, coming your way, brother. Coming your way. Awesome deal. 
Oh, yes, and on the seventh day, he rested. Only I didn't get to rest today, did I? So let's see what else we got. Any other questions? <clears throat> and remember, guys, if you have a question directly from me, just type in at Jeff Ostroff when you're, when you're doing your uh, comment there. So that way it it's, puts up a big orange box that, that allows me to see easily through all of the, the messages. Okay. Let's see if anything else. And Howie says, a Hoosier one. Heck yes. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. And what is the next one? Oh, is that the caliper? Yeah. <clears throat> now, remember we showed you guys about this about a couple of weeks ago that they were being clearanced out to like $2. Uh, there was the $30 one that was being clearanced down to $2. When I went into the store in Boca, um, they, I got them to match it, but it was with this one. So I was like, all right, this one's normally $19 in there. And it's the three inch one. Whereas the one that was the $30 one was a six inch one. So, you know, so what? I mean, I, I, when I ever use something like this, I'm, I'm measuring things like this big. I'm not going above three inches. So as long as you can live with that, you know. So this one had 2,094 entries. And let's see who this winner, was there two winners? I guess there was. I better produce. Because <laughs> I don't know where the other one is. It's got to be around somewhere. <clears throat> Let's see. Who are the two lucky persons? So we have a Joe Davenport from Tennessee. Joe Davenport from Tennessee. And we have Nicholas Johnson from Oklahoma. So congratulations <clears throat> to the two y'all for that one. Let's go pick the next tool. After that one, we have, oh, yes, the nut driver set. And I think we did a few entries on these. Let me see. Now, this was the one <clears throat> that when they first started to get the, the initial tool zone, gift zone, you know, things, uh, I call it the stocking stuffer aisle at, up at Lowe's. Um, these were $29.99 at the end of of. October and I was telling you guys don't don't get them for this price do not buy them just wait and sure enough somewhere around Black Friday time I think they dropped to like what was it 1999 and then after Black Friday they dropped to 1499 and we picked these up like two weeks ago in there we found a stash of them in our local lows and they were down to 1099 so this was a great score here and it's a nice reasonably light item I could it might be heavier than a pound or 13 ounces I think I think you can ship thir up to 13 ounces first class. But let's get our winners, man. Let's see who are three, because we had three of these. And next month, we're going to do some more. We bought a bunch of these. We did some that were metric also. Um, this is AC, yeah, SAE. Let me make sure. Yep. <clears throat> and I love this kit, because it has really the most common nut drivers you'll need. If you're doing ice makers, if you're doing um, dishwashers. Anything with a hex nut on it, hex screw. Okay, our first winner is Mark, and I hope I got this right, Estoc, Estoch, Mark Estatic, probably right now, from, hey, he's from our area of the town, Newport Ritchie, that's where Paul's from also. We got our other Paul from Newport Ritchie. Got to make sure, make sure Paul's not stalking your house there, buddy. Don't trust these guys with sweaty palms, he'll come here and steal your tools, you <laughs> know. The other one is Jerome Ballman from Pennsylvania. I got some couple of Pennsylvania dudes here tonight, man. When, and the third one is Kelsey Vinson from Georgia. So congratulations to you three for winning these. And um, I'm not one for, for subliminal advertisement, but... <laughs> That's a, a quick preview of one of the tools we're giving away next month. <clears throat> Let me see if any other questions came in. So Sam Hernandez says, what's the best toilet <clears throat> well, with a pump for my basement? Hey, that's a good question. I don't know because I've never had to deal with like the pump situation from being below grade. So all of the toilets I've used are just you know right into the sewer system from above. So unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that one. And Scotty Robes says, looking into getting the M12 kit with the free 6-amp-hour battery. 
and the hack, is it worth it? So, yeah, but why would you want to hack it? Why would why would you not want to keep that battery? That's a good. Those six amp hour batteries are great, and I've been telling people, especially if you have a power hog of a tool, like the the um, the rocket lights. Those things are gonna hog. The I love my my M12 rocket light because it's super super light, easy to carry around, smaller, doesn't take up all the space, but on a regular CP 2.0 battery, that thing's only got about two hours. No, I'm sorry, is it? No, it's it's like an hour of, of light. And so I tell people, if you have any of the rocket lights and you got the M12 batteries, don't get anything less than, than XC 4.0 is my bare bones minimum. And then the XC 6.0, I believe, only gives you four hours of life, yeah. So yeah, you can do the hack, but so far i have found myself not doing any of the battery hacks yet because i just i want the batteries i need batteries you know that's why that's why do you think i bought was it six of these glitch deals total over the weekend because i'm trying to cannibalize some of these to get these those five amp hour batteries out of there for 68 bucks and you know as the total acquisition cost and then resell the other parts by themselves on ebay right and Ernie says, sounds like someone in the, oh, has the Rona in the background, bro. Hope she's okay. No? No? Nothing wrong in the background there. Uh, let's see. VSP900 says, best deal you ever scored at Lowe's. Hmm. There's two. One of them was that three-tool woodworking kit from DeWalt that you probably a lot of you bought. I know, because I told you guys about it in August when I discovered it. And every store you went into virtually you had to go up high. And you want to know why you had to go up high for it? Because I think Lowe's made a mistake and put it in their system already at $299, but they were still up up high because it wasn't meant to be um, on sale yet because it was a Black Friday price. <clears throat> so that's what we found. Uh, but we did find that the Acme Tools version of that same kit for $299 with the three woodworking tools in it, that same deal <clears throat> at Acme came with a better charger. It came with the fast charger, the yellow charger. But other than that, same kit, same price, same tools. It had the jig jigsaw, it had the sander, and it had the multi-tool for basically two ninety nine. And I think we had calculated it was probably worth over five hundred bucks or something like that. So that was a really good deal from last year. And Rhonda Max says, cheapest item you ever bought at Home Depot or Lowe's. Oh, I know what it is. And actually, it was this, one of these that we gave away tonight. These were 56 cents at Lowe's. So I think they were originally like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something like that. But yeah, 56 cents. I don't even think we, we've ever bought a pack of gum there that low. So there you have it. And Ernie says, I like Oprah. Tools for you. Tools for everyone. We appreciate you, man. All right, cool. And our friend Cool Tools from the UK just sent us a $2, actually two pound. He's from the UK. Two pound super chat. Thank you. He says, evening, Jeff and chat from a busy blood and organ store. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, so they're still on shutdown pretty good over there in the UK. And man, I hope they can lift that soon for everybody. And hey, Brazil Benetti says, hello, Jeff, Carlos from Brazil. I like that. That's pretty far away, too. And Tyler Henry says he got that DeWalt woodworking kit, too. But to think my Metabo table saw was the best deal. Yeah, um, I would say that was the other really good deal that we showed a couple of times. It happened in August. So that Metabo table saw at Lowe's, that's normally $569. It was down to three forty nine on sale in August, and we thought, hey, that was a really good deal. And then it went away, and then it came back again around Black Friday. But Ace, well, no, Acme. I think it was yeah, Acme Tools had that Metabo saw down to two ninety nine with some trickery, with some shell games, because it wasn't really two ninety nine. They were charging a fifty dollar service charge on it, so that really brought it back up to three forty nine. But those of you who were smart and took my advice went into Lowe's with the screenshot from Acme Tools showing that $2.99 price and got Lowe's to drop the price all the way down to $2.99. That's a steal of the century right there. That was such a great deal. 
And yeah, and then probably my other favorite deal from last year was that six tool combo from DeWalt, the one that came in the Tough System rolling box. Oh, that was just incredible. Um, it was four ninety nine, and it was twelve hundred and fifty seven dollars, I think, worth of tools is what I added up on the spreadsheet when I calculated it all out. And then I used, of course, the ten percent off coupon on it and got that kit for four fifty. So that was probably, I think, my best deal of, of last year. And yeah, yeah. And then Jamie says, don't forget the, the DCD 996 P2. That was that hammer drill kit from Lowe's. That was the other one that I drove to four different Lowe's to find one. I, I think I was only able to find one. But it was like a $319 kit marked down to like 144 And then even after we bought ours... Other people were saying, hey, in our area, it was down to like $75. So I'm like, holy cow. That was a screaming deal from last year, big time. All right, let's go pick up the next tool because I really want to move this along here. And what do we got? Get the nut driver. Oh, yes. Now we're getting into the big boys toys. Where is it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This was one of the other good deals that I was showing you guys over the past month or so throughout our live streams. Remember I showed you how to go in and how to find this and everything? And people were still telling me a few days ago they were able to find them in there. So this is the one that, um, man, it rang up. I, I forget the amount. Was it like 44 bucks or something like that? But, uh, yeah, these are... These are normally last year around $130 for the gunmetal here. The hundred was it the hundred and five piece? Yep. That those were pretty interesting. A lot of people either had to look up or they found them mixed on the shelf with the chrome, the regular chrome 105s. And so that's how they were able to still find them. But they're being clearanced out. Yeah, $47.98 was the actual uh, selling price there. Where's our winners? We have one winner for that one. And here it is, folks. Let me go in and get the person's name. It's drawing their name right now. Oh, we have one lucky person here. Matt Renella from California. It would have to be from California, right, guys? The heavy items, they're always out in the worst possible uh, time zone. <laughs> So, yeah, Matt Ranella, congratulations on winning that one, my friend. And so when you hear from me, Matt, I'm going to be asking you that if you would um, help us with that and do that little 99-cent thing on eBay until I can get this other uh, our shipping site that the people were telling me about, that some of our other friends were telling us about here tonight. Um, we'll, we'll try to find a way to get the discount. And you know what sucks, guys? Not only did they really jack up the rates this year, but... This past year was probably the worst year in delivery times in history. So I had sent somebody um, one of their tools on December 15th, and they didn't get it till January 8th. And then I ordered from Kaizen Foam, you know, that foam to put in my tough system box because I'm going to make cutouts for my drills and charger and everything in there. I They shipped mine on December 20th, and I just got it last week. Um, so what they had told me was there was a whole bunch of U.S. mail, like the big, I guess the big trucks, you know, those big rigs that had not even, they hadn't even gotten to them yet. That the, the, um, the post office people, I don't know what happened, but things got stacked up. And then I guess in some places they had, uh, a few snowstorms that delayed them a few more days. So I'm just, holy cow, you know, let me come back up and see if we got anything else here. Uh, uh, any other questions? And Michael Kim says that that DCD996 kit with the two 5.0 batteries was the best, lowest deal. You know, there was another really good deal that we told you guys about on um, uh, for Labor Day. There was that one, there was a DeWalt drill kit with a 5 amp hour battery, and there was a DeWalt impact driver kit with a 5 amp hour battery. That was $129. And at the time, we were like, what? Take my money. Uh, my One of my partners went and bought two of those because just the 5 amp hour battery alone in that kit is was 149 at the time. And I think it might have been on sale for 119 Sometimes that battery goes all over the place. It's up at 149 It's down to 119 Right now, it's at 99 
So, I mean, even then, and you're getting that kind of deal. Those things flew out of there in like three days. We, we showed that on one of our live streams. So, yeah, that was another good deal. And Ron Berger says the guys selling the Lowe's coupons on eBay, where are they getting them from? You know, I don't know. There's a few of those sites. And somebody said, well, maybe they're fake. But you know what? I don't know. I mean, they all have different numbers. But they said they've been used at, at Lowe's already. So they're probably collecting them from, I don't know. Somehow at Lowe's, maybe Lowe's is throwing them out and somebody's dumpster diving. I don't, I don't know. I just really don't know. But I imagine one day Home Depot might close the door on this. So, you know, luckily I've pretty much got most of the tools I want to get in life by now. And I, I'm trying to figure out if there's still another. Oh, yeah, I got to go get that drywall cutting tool tomorrow. So that. I'll use the coupon on that tomorrow. That's a $139 tool, right? So we'll take off $13 on that. And, oh, wait, I think there's a couple of other questions that came in. So Jose says, of course he's from California. I always bump into people looking for tools that watch your channel. <laughs> yeah. And Marauder says, when you list on eBay for 99 cents, do you have the winner stand by for the listing or what? Yeah, no, what I do is I make a minimal listing that that just shows a picture of, like, a broken tile, you know. So it's something that you know nobody's going to come bid on, and it says 99 cents, and it'll say, like, like if you're the winner, Marauder, it'll say box for Marauder. That's what I usually have. it, And I tell them about it, and most of them are usually actually pretty quick. Like, as soon as I send the email, like, within 10, 15 minutes, most of them have already clicked on it and done it because it's, it's so easy to just go in there, make the purchase, hit the PayPal button, and you're done. And once they've done that, I get the instant contact from eBay that it's sold, and I instantly go in there and can um, print out that um, that thing. And that's what I like about it because because you're using a PayPal confirmed shipping address, it's it just populates the the um, the label for me. I don't have to do anything, like nothing, not one thing. All I got to do is type in the weight, and that's it. And it calculates how much I owe, and eBay just takes it out of my account every month. So, and uh, let's see, Shada, Shaja, is that how you pronounce it? He said, uh, "How age? Oh, had HD refused ten percent off coupons this weekend because it was dark blue instead of light blue? No way, really. You know what? Once in a blue moon, I do see them come in in a different shade. I don't know. That is interesting." Um, some of the sites are selling the, the Home Depot 10, or I'm sorry, the Home Depot 15% off coupons now. But see, the sites that sell those, they're, they're expensive. They're charging you like $24, $25 for those coupons. So whatever you buy has to be up there in price. So I've already determined that $500 is the break-even price on that. So unless you're buying something that's $500 or more, there's no need for you to go to any of these coupon sites to spend the $25 on a on that downloadable coupon but the good news with that though it's an official home depot coupon and you can use it for an online order so if you're going to buy a planer for you know 650 dollars or something or you're doing a massive tool buy you'd be crazy to not get over there and buy one of those 15 percent off coupons for 25 bucks you'll be saving yourself massive amounts of money there nerdy mr a says acme tools had the cutout tool drywall gun and xr impact with five amp hour battery for two ninety nine, yep. And Omar says, "When is the best time to order power equipment to buy the outdoor power equipment when it's on sale?" I will never go in there and pay full shelf price on any of them. And if I really had to, for whatever reason, right here, ten percent off. If it's not on sale, put it on sale yourself. But um, like my my Dewalt hedge trimmer that I got last year. It was on the clearance thing because I guess they were bringing in new models. And so, hey, I bought it, and the thing's great. I love that thing. Absolutely love it. And Joe Johnson says, can you use the Lowe's on the new Milwaukee Buy More, Save More promotion? You should be able to because I don't think it's a BOGO. So unless it's a buy one, get one free, it should work. I'm trying to remember if I used it over the summer. See, over the summer, I did some of the Buy More, Save More but I think I mostly did them online. I know I did some with Ryobi. I bought three different Ryobi tools to uh, to do tool review videos for. 
So let's go get the other tool giveaway winners here. I want to make sure we're not going too late tonight. The, the chrome set, so we did that. Oh, yeah. Now we're on to the big one. The big. Hold on. Let's see if I can lift this thing up. This thing's so big, man. I don't even have any room back here for it. Look at that. You guys know what this is. I sent you guys on a frenzy starting in early December when I told you about that. All right, remember that? Well, I finally broke that news to you all about that, man. Everybody went scrambling. Nobody, nobody wanted these things when they were $129, but it's amazing how when something drops to 33 bucks, suddenly it's the best tool in the ever, ever seen in their lives. But at 129, they were like, that's stupid, cheap craftsman garbage shop nobody's gonna pay who wants to buy that garbage but then when it drops to 33 bucks you're like dude best thing ever man <laughs> so 4737 people entered that one let's draw the winner let's pick that lucky lucky luckiest of persons and by the way we, we have another one too i'm giving the other one away next month so don't despair if you don't win tonight and so the winner of this one here, and thank you, thank you, they're in Georgia. Oh, <laughs> that means they, they're they in our, like, shipping zone, so it'll be a lot cheaper. So it is Nayadi Jones, and I hope I pronounced that right, Nayadi Jones from Georgia is the winner of that Craftsman Rolling Cooler, man. Holy cow. So Kevin Lopez says, how do you enter? Well, make sure you're a subscriber so that you get, and make sure that all of the alerts are turned on. And the next time we do a live stream, similar to what we're doing right now, we did one last week. During that live stream, we will give you the links in the video description down below, right? So we'll say, here's the dozen or so tools we're giving away. And we'll give you the links and you have a week to get in there and use those links and enter the contest. And so here we are tonight is at the end of that week period. And uh, so we chose the winners just like you saw here. And that's exactly how it will work. And Gary says, man, that would be expensive to ship. Yeah, you know what's funny is, is that one right there that you just saw me show up, I paid $24 online from a store. And I think, that, I think it might be Marauder that told me about that one. Um, and it was from the zip code 90210 in Beverly Hills. It was the Burbank store that I went to first. And I ordered it, and I couldn't believe that the order went through. I was like, holy cow, because like, we can't even find them anywhere in our area. And I was holding my breath for that week and a half until that thing arrived, let me tell you, folks. All right? So I paid $24 for that one, plus like five ninety nine dollars shipping. It was incredible. And then like two hours after I posted it, the deal was already done. People were already telling me, oh, I can't get it. They're sold out. So, let's see. Eugene says, Craftsman floor mats are... Oh, they were today? I'm going to be in there tomorrow morning, and I will let you guys know. Thanks, Eugene, for letting me know. I'll check on that. And Marauder says, mine is still on back order. What? Did, you ordered yours before you even told me, because you remember you commented on one of my videos. You said, hey, I, heard, I just ordered one from the store. Wow. I'm hoping they could, they could uh, locate it for you. And Tam Arlen says he's lying, folks. What, about the 24 bucks? No. There was, it really was there. And I even, right before I posted, I went back online and double-checked to make sure that it was still in uh, that store there, out there in Burbank. And I was surprised. So this thing went from one side of the country to the other, you know. But, man, what a deal that one was. And I, I just couldn't believe that the order didn't get canceled. There was There's a million things that can go wrong when you're trying to get something that hard to find you know and ryobi says this account is dedicated to the memory of shaka ryoba bashing shall never end <laughs> right um bw's electric says i'll have to check the craftsman mats again tomorrow they were still full price yeah i can tell instantly whether they've dropped in price as i'm walking in the door and i look across the front of the store if i can see that pile still up there at the top that's how you know they didn't drop the price, you know. And Captain Kirk says, scored the drill and saw Friday. Also had to go to the store. Good, good. So sometimes having to run down there to the store. And by the way, just so you guys know, anytime we tell you about any other deals, 
And if you order it online and they say, you know, the order's ready, sometimes the order isn't really picked when you get down there. Sometimes you're just getting the email for whatever reason and the order's not picked. So what I tell people is if you place that order online, you get in your car right now and you drive down to the store and you pick it up. You don't waste any time. And if you get up to the counter and it's not picked, then then you go pick it yourself and and, and you know get it. And that's the way it's supposed to to work. So yeah. So where is Shaka? Why haven't we seen him? And like it's probably been like two weeks, especially on the, the like that last couple of live streams where there was just mountains of green there in in um, Home Depot there. I thought for sure he would be on there uh, saying something about it. And Jim Jim says, Jeff, what's the best torque wrench? Gosh, what's the one I have now? I keep forgetting the name of it. Is it Duralast? I'm not sure. I'm trying to buy the um, the Snap-on version. And I've been, I, I need to get back on eBay and try to uh, bid again. But for a while there, I kept trying to buy that one that's like you know six hundred dollars, and they bid. They're they're selling for like like around the four hundred to five hundred dollar range, and I and I still get outbid on those on every one of them. So I have my limit of what I'm willing to pay for it, and but that's the one I'm after, the digital one from Snap On. And Marauder says, Jeff, the problem with the cooler and shipping is not much the yeah, it's the size. So that was the other thing, the box that it came in was almost double the size of the cooler. So it's like this. Now these guys have, you know, big accounts with UPS and all that. So it probably doesn't matter to them. But what I did was I cut the box down in half and just retaped everything back together. So it's this nice sturdy box about this big now, just big enough to hold the cooler. So that'll be much more efficient for me. And <clears throat> oh, Tommy Stubbs says Shaka may have had the vacation I just had. You mean he's in quarantine, maybe? Yeah, but they could still get on the phone, you know. And John says the China virus world tour. Get your tickets now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jim Jim says Snap On is too expensive. Yeah, for sure they are pricey. There's no two ways about that. And Jay says Jeff the Milwaukee uh, 12 volt. 6.0 that's the battery that i like yeah and i i do want to try to acquire a few more of those batteries right and yeah marauder says ryobi assassinated shaka <laughs> that's why we haven't seen him tonight and cool tool says jeff you attack home depot like the sas and delta force do you assail i hope shaka didn't try that yeah and yeah, let's see. Robert Lipscomb says, uh, score the gunmetal tool set, too. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, so I, I always like to hear back from um, folks who are able to score these deals because it, it gives you kind of like a little vindication and it lets you know that, yeah, it is available in other places, not just in our little section of the, of the country there. And... Yeah, Mr. J, is it Jay Diffin? He says, pretty sure the guys in the shipping department don't care how much it costs to ship the gigantic box. They probably don't even have a clue. They they put it in the box, and, and a lot of times they wrap a lot of that. This one here, it came with like 30 feet of that brown paper. It was all crunched up in there. I'm like, holy cow, that paper weighs a lot of money. Never ship anything with newspaper. That stuff weighs, you know, weighs a lot and will end up costing you a lot <clears throat> so i had stuff down to a science when i ship i make sure that the box is approximately two inches bigger than what i'm sending to just to give you enough cushion because remember you're you're paying to ship the box too so so the bigger the box the more it weighs and if you have any dimension over 12 inches which is like this they call that oversized, and they just really put the screws to you. It really stinks when they do that. And Tool Nerd says, thanks for all you do for the tool hood. Well, you know, I'm glad to help out, guys. It's a, it's a lot of work. It's a labor of love. and But, yeah, we're glad to find all those deals and, and share them with everybody. And, hey, by the way, you know, a lot of you mentioned on my live stream Friday that, hey, you should take your tools home. Maybe those guys were there casing the joint. Luckily nothing was taken so hopefully you know they would have done it maybe that night or or last night but yeah hopefully nothing does get taken from there 
And Patrick Kelly says, I just scored the 105-piece gunmetal set last night. It's still $48. Yeah. So you're still, they're still finding them out there. And just real quickly, for those of you who didn't know, before we go, I want to show you that the way to tell the difference on the, on the, the gunmetal set is you see the white, the raised white letters on the black handle. That's one way. And then you get the metal latch. You get the metal latch instead of the plastic latch. The black plastic latch would be on the other, on the other one. So if you have to look up high, they're, they stick out like a sore thumb because now you know what to look for. So that's how a lot of you have found them as well. And oh yeah, Jeff's comp says the second drill, his second drill got canceled. So he got two of those drill deal things and the second one got canceled. And I bet, Jeff, if you did like I did today, you go wandering back into the store, I bet they'll have something there. And if they don't on the shelf, look up top. They're always up top. All right, so I think we need to finish this up. We've been at it kind of a long time. I want to make sure, did we get every one of the tools? I need to make sure because I know the, I, I thought that was the last one. Let me see. Yep, I, it sure was indeed. So we did get to all of them. And of course, any questions if you folks have that didn't get answered, you can leave them in the comments below. If any of you go looking tomorrow for that deal for the glitch, let me know if it's still alive tomorrow and we'll, we'll alert everybody. But my guess is that it, it's supposed to end today, you know. And Carlos says, does that gun metal set skip sizes? Oh, I forget. But you know what, Carlos? If you look through our videos from the last couple of weeks, somewhere about two, three weeks ago, we did a video where I opened up this set and showed you everything that's in there. Sorry. We did. It was a very, you know, just kind of a short glance through, and we itemized every uh, piece in there. So, yeah, so go look for that and, and see if if that tells you what you need. And Mr. J. Diffin says, when I got the tool deal, there were only three drills in stock at my local store. Yeah. And, um, but today when I was in our store, the guy, when he scanned the box, he said it was showing that there's like 14 in stock somewhere in our store. So sometimes you'll see DeWalt at the top of one aisle. Sometimes you go two or three aisles over and you'll see more DeWalt over there. So you just have to really look for it. And Emily Martin says, you're a legend, always saving everybody money, much appreciated. Hey, glad to help out, man. I wish I had like a, like a, like an odometer <laughs> that just shows how much people have saved over, over the years. That would be kind of cool to see that. <clears throat> and David C says, the HD app states the deal ends today. Yeah. So that's the, um, January 31st cutoff date for the, uh, those buy one, get ones. And so congratulations again to all of our winners. And believe me, guys, we're going to have a lot more tools and stuff next month, too. Some of them are the same. We have another cooler to give away next month. And we may have a few of these to give away. And um, definitely, I can, I can tell you, uh, definitely this one's going to be given away because I've already got one. I don't need another one. So we're definitely going to give that away. Uh we're going to give this one away. This was one. We found this in Lowe's. Uh, oh, let me try it this way. It's a corded. It's a corded one, though. But it was being um, clearanced out for $50 at Lowe's. So, yeah. Good deal there. And we're going to give this one away because the person who won this two months ago never responded back after I contacted them several times. So... They're going to lose out. So, uh, here's the other thing I don't understand. When I email you folks, you know, be looking for that email and, and answer back quickly so we can get these out to you. So I don't know why somebody wouldn't respond, you know. Uh, and then there was another giveaway where somebody's email bounced. Oops. Yeah, so make sure you double check everything. And so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and... Thank you guys for joining us tonight. It was always a pleasure meeting with you, answering questions, and learn. We learn and help from each other, and congratulations to all of these winners, man. Holy cow. So I'm going to start, like, as soon as I hang up here, uh, we're going to start contacting you all by email. So be ready. Be on the lookout. And... Uh,
If any other deals come up, we'll let you guys know. And Adrian did say that 10% coupon was finally successful at my store. The cashier knew how to use it. <laughs> Love that. All right, folks. You guys have a very productive week. Uh, look for us to give updates in live streams throughout the week from that remodeling project that we're on, the update there. And then, of course, any deals that we find, any more stellar deals like this one, this glitch from this weekend, we will go ahead and let you folks know about that as well. And let's see. So Hotmail says, uh, yeah, Hotmail 11747. What would you price the glitch drill with the bag only? I haven't looked yet, but I'm assuming probably around 75 to 100. I'll have to see. Maybe 75. I, I also like to look at what other people have it listed for and maybe undercut them just a little bit. All right. So thank you, guys. And we're going to sign off now. And... You all have a great week, and we'll see you on the next one. Ciao, everybody. Bye. All right. Dad. All right.